Well, how do there, people? It is I, Captain Steve, and today, chums, my PlayStation VR 2 has arrived, gated. So here we go, people. PlayStation VR 2 is mine. <laughs> Gonna open this little giddy. Awesome. Well, okay, well, you open up the top box, and then it's got another box inside of the box, and you open that up, and yeah, I went and opened it wrong, and I tipped it all over the floor by accident. <laughs> okay, well, I've unboxed it all, and the weird thing is, you get one charging cable, but there's obviously, there's two of these things that you need to charge. Now, I, I was pre-warned of this, so that's why I bought myself one of those little charging docking bays, which I've got down there. It's not the official one, so I'm going to be doing a review of that to see if it's any good. But yes, very much looking forward to trying out this headset. Really am. It comes with earphones and it comes with these spare ones here, so I'm going to keep those somewhere nice and safe. But now I have to connect the earbuds into the actual headset, which is quite easy to do. I'll show you how that's done. Okay, right, so connecting the earbuds, you've got the jack there, which just plugs into this hole there, and then you've got the little sort of pidget that clips into there. Nice, and you should just get a nice little click noise once it's in. There we are, done. And when you're not using the earbuds, there's this convenient little recess that you just sort of pop them into, which is fun trying to do it with your left hand when you're right-handed. There you go, done, hands in there. Okay, well I'm not using my headset, I've actually put it on that glass sort of stormtrooper head down there that I had. Oh, now just take it off so you can see the glass stormtrooper head. So there we go, my glass stormtrooper head. <laughs> it's pretty darn freaking cool, isn't it, that? You can put like live plants in there or cactuses and things. Okay, so this charging bay, it has got a little button there, you press it, and all these lights light up on it. Right on, so I'm going to be putting the actual controllers in there to charge up before I can use the VR. So to do that, you get these little magnetic thingy biggies that you have to stick into the actual controllers. So there they go, really small. They do stick together, look. <laughs> okay, so I probably don't want them to do that though, so let's just put them there for a moment. And I've just got to put them inside of these charging vessels, wherever they are, there they are. So there's one there at the front there, you see it? Cool, at least I think that might, no, that's the back, isn't it? Because that's the trigger over there. I've got to try and work out to put these on my hands yet, people. Okay, well there they go, they're inside of the actual docking station now. And you can see there, that one's got a red light indicator where the other one says green. So one of them is fully charged, where the other one I'm going to have to wait for a while. Okay, well, well they're charging up. My headset is on my little glass sort of head. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Now chums, when I say it's the waiting game, technically I can plug the headset in. And I can play Gran Turismo 7 because that doesn't use the actual hand controllers. Heck no it doesn't, it just uses a joypad. So I might give that a go. So it is just one cable that you plug into the front of your actual PlayStation connected to the helmet. Forgive all the other wires. <laughs> yes, cable management isn't my forte. Right, so let's get this headset on and let's try out Gran Turismo 7. So when I plugged in for the first time it came up with this and I need to update. So yeah, just be prepared for that one. That's going to happen. And you need to have the headset off while you're doing this. Okay, so now it says get started. So get ready for an immersive gaming experience with PlayStation VR 2. To get started, set up your PlayStation VR 2 and sense controllers. Adjust eye tracking and create a play area. Right, so I may need to wait for those uh, controllers to get fully charged. Okay, well it will appear that I need to attach each of the PlayStation VR Sense controllers one at a time via the USB cable. I've plugged that into the front of my PlayStation. I'm now just going to do as it tells okay. me. Alright. Uh, VR showroom. Heck yes. I'll take it there. Nice Japanese garden. Okay, cool. And I'm hoping it's going to be the car that I've been driving. Oh my freaking... No way! <laughs> no way! This is... Oh man! Oh look at those freaking wheels on that. Look at the decals! Oh this looks freaking great people. So I'm just using my joypad to control this around. 
I'm doing it rather slowly. I don't want to move my head too much. How do I get in? I want to get in. How do I get in? Um, which button is it to get in? Oop, I just pressed a button. I have to go around to the driver's side. Oh, that's... oh look at the giant logo. Oh, the front grille. Okay, I'm... I'm going round to this side because that's where the driver's side is. I want to get in the car. Stop moving, car. This is a bit weird. Okay, so the car was moving around there, not me. That wasn't my headset. Look at the, even the ceiling. And I can hear all birds and stuff. Uh, this is insane. Okay, I want to get in. How do I get into the car? Okay. All right, so just pressing L1 makes it rotate the camera. That's probably what I did before. That rotates it the other way. All right, how do I get in then? Oh, whoops, wrong button. Let's try that again. Sorry, people. I'm still getting used to button presses. <laughs> or not, as the case may be. Oh, look, I changed the time of day by pressing square. Oh, that's cool. How do I get in, though? I want to get in my freaking car, mate. Oh, look, I can turn the headlights on using the D-pad. All right. Oh, and that hires it by pressing in the R stick. Okay. Left stick lowers it. Right stick does that. That moves me in and out. Okay. So how do I get in? Hmm. Pressing multiple buttons at once now, people. That's not, not playing cricket, is it? All right. Oh, it's triangle. I'm freaking in! Holy fudge, this is so cool! Oh, that's that steering wheel. Ah, oh, I can move right over into the dash. That's insane, people. It, it feels like I'm actually in this thing. This is in... I can't wait to have a go. <laughs> can't wait to have a go! Alright, okay, um... This is unbelievably realistic, peeps. This is... This is craziness. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to head out of there. There's loads of different backgrounds we could look at, but you know what? Let's just get in. Let's let's have a go. Let's have a go at this. All right. There we are. World circuits. My days. Let's go over to the Asia Pacific region, and I'm just going to take. I'm just going to do. Oh, is that the town? Is that the city? No. I want to do the city. Where's the city? Um, National Speedway, Expressway, I think that might be it. Yes, this is it. We're just going to do this one. Here we go. So all of that bit was flat screen. There's nothing VR or special about that. And this is still flat screen. That's just a giant screen there. Okay, press X. Start. Hopefully it's going to... Okay, it's still flat. It's flat at the moment, people. Just a nice big cinema. Oh, fudge, I'm in, I'm in. Oh my days! Why'd you have that? Oh my days, is insane! Yeah, I'm Captain Steve, in a car, coming at you. Yeah, move out of the way, Granny. <laughs> yeah, French in third place already, people. Oh, oh, fudging heck, there's a wall there. Okay, I've got to get used to this. But this is mental. Look, I'm looking around the car. I'm getting distracted. Okay. And the side mirrors, and the rear view mirror. That's freaking mental. Okay, so yeah, he's right in my freaking crosshairs, this guy in front, but I'm just checking that guy in the mirror over there. We're breaking, we're heading into the first corner. Oh, this adds a whole new dimension of play. I slowed too far down then. I'm still getting used to this, peeps. This is very different than using a controller. Look at the sights! Okay, alright. I'm driving the car, I'm in a race. I've got to remember I'm in a race. <laughs> this is mental, though. This feels freaking real. Oh man, am I in first? I'm in freaking first! Thank you, people. Ah! Bunch of hair. <laughs> oh, the music's freaking pretty awesome as well in this um, headset. And the sound of the engine. Look at those skyscrapers and the skyline. Oh, bunch of corner. I forgot about the corners. Alright, lovely tunnel. Ah, oh, he's, he's on my heels. We've got a break. And we're turning that. Lovely. Freaking awesome! And round we go. Oh, people, this is this is this is amazing, amazing. Meow. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> this is 
sweet. How many, how many laps have I got to do? Oh, this is the second lap. This is the final lap. All right, well, there's nobody inside my rear view mirror. This car is freaking beefy, though, people. This is the car that I just showed you around, oh, no, just in case you were wondering. All those decals are my own custom making. Yes. <laughs> this is freaking great. Okay, I'm loving this. Oh, my days. Gran Turismo in VR. Freaking experience, people. It's, it's not just a game, this is a freaking experience. This is insanely good. Okay, there we are. Now, it did take me a little while to get all this set up and get the sweet spot just right. But you follow the tutorial and you, you're all good with the setup. The setup tutorial for PlayStation VR is freaking great. And when that PlayStation logo rolls in, ah, oh, really cool. You know what I mean if you, when you're setting it up, when you get that PlayStation logo up here. Very cool. It sort of comes in sort of like a golden sort of display of mini fireworks and sparks. It's cool. Anyway, let's head on over this way. Meow. Oh, it's turned to night. We've got night skies now, peeps. Oh, yeah, this has got dynamic weather as well, hasn't it? Not that I've come across dynamic weather yet. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, there we are. And there's the finish line. Captain Steve finishes the race. And look at that. I'm just taking a look around the car. Oh, look, you can even see the seatbelt strap. That's insane. A little. I've got a body. <laughs> okay. That actually does feel... This is weird, because my hands are not where my hands are. The hands are on the steering wheel. But, okay, all right, enough of that then. Okay, cool. Oh, my days, people. And it's back to a cinema screen now, but it's a big freaking screen. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, okay, people, so that was my first impressions of PlayStation VR 2 checking out Gran Turismo, and it's freaking mind blowingly good. It's really good. And uh, the joypad is on charger at the moment, the actual controllers, but I will be jumping into No Man's Sky once they're fully charged and giving that a bit of a blast. But oh my days, that's freaking great. So there we go, that's my unboxing and setup and a bit of play testing there, people. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, you've all been freaking awesome. I guess you have. Brilliant day. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.